welcome to positive atheism english channel today i am going to continue from the last episode of the article atheism and morality written by the gora a well known atheist and freedom fighter fire walking i was challenged once to walk on fire without the customary religious ceremony i did it that was in 1938 the friends who gathered there to carry me to the hospital if i was born also walked on the fire on noticing that i walked with ease and without injury the next demonstration in fire walking i gave was in a public place at mudnooru village krishna district in 1941 there was a huge gathering of spectators my wife mrs saraswati my son lavadam who was 10 years then and several villagers to walk down fire that day my feet were scrubbed and cleaned by the villagers to make sure that i did not use an ointment to protect my feet from burns the followers of periyar evr also demonstrated fire walking frequently to dispel this superstition the scientific explanation for fire walking should be investigated into but two explanations are plausible number 1 even those who regard fire walking as a religious ceremony do not stand on fire they quickly take two or three paces on the hot coal the time is not sufficient for the skin to feel the heat number 2 the wood would burn for 7 or 8 hours before the hot charcoal is spread for walking that is the charcoal is very hot due to the super heat the moisture on the skin of the soles gets converted immediately into vapor and stands as a layer of insulation between the soles and the fire feet are washed with water before the steps are taken on the fire the moisture of water makes walking easy an experiment supports this explanation place an iron in a furnace when the iron is fairly hot but not red hot sprinkle water on the hot iron all the water gets converted into steam heat the iron more to red heat sprinkle water on the red hot iron the water does not get converted into steam immediately the water collects into some bubbles stays for a fraction of a second and then the bubbles of water get converted into steam why does water become steam directly on hot iron but not on very very hot iron on hot iron the whole water has time to get heated on red hot iron the layer of water that comes in contact with the red hot iron gets converted into steam so instantaneously on account of the excessive heat that the layer of steam stands as an insulator and prevents the heat from spreading to the rest of the water therefore the rest of the water collects into bubbles and stays for a while as water the formation of water into round bubbles is due to the surface tension of the particles of water after a little while heat radiates and converts the bubbles to into steam the stopping of water as water bubbles for a while is significant in the experiment the reason is the insulation by the layer of steam it stands between the red hot iron and the rest of the water similar may be the reason for preventing the heat of the charcoal from passing on to the skin of the soul during the short interval of the pace the fire scorches the soles either when it is not burned sufficiently hot or when we step on a stray bit of coal scattered from that pit of fire miracles and civilization there are no miracles at all to a primitive mind which is dominated by the instincts of fear and wonder abnormal events look miracles religious faith breeds and preserves primitiveness religious people who are filled with reverence of something great imagine miracles and attribute them to the objects of their veneration hence epics are replete with miracles ramayana bharata and bible are examples of such fanciful stories called miracles by blind believers even in the modern age some savants are admirably rational and scientific in laboratories but conventionally superstitious and primitive in their private affairs atheism exposes their dishonesty respect for their real achievements should not deter us from condemning their foolishness elsewhere a bane of progress exposing the truth of some miracles as in the case of shri sachi sai baba is necessary to civilize people but what is more important is the condemnation of miracle mindedness that distracted people from real civilization it is this miracle mind that is keeping hindus backward cheats thrive on fools 
India is the land on which miracles abound and India is also the land on which are found degrading poverty, worst ignorance, shameful untouchability and honesty at its lowest ebb. If Sri Satya Sai Baba can produce a gold ring from empty hands, why not he produce tons of food grains and feed the hungry mouths? Why not he make rainfall in the very region where he lives which is proverbially drought affected? Miracles are a humbug. Let miracle makers come out into the open and prove their credentials if they have the good of humanity at their heart. They are fraudulently distracting the attention of people from the real problems of food, respect, comfort and peace for all the people. Faith in miracles is inimical to, for the growth of civilization. Civilization needs a realistic view of the economic and political problems of people and abundant self-confidence without being lost in wonder at miracle and mystery. And this is the end of the article and we will meet again with another article in the next episode. Thank you. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel Positive Atheism and activate the bell icon.